it's time, baby. Welcome back to the channel. How's everybody been? Well, today's kind of a big day. We're going to try something a little bit different here on Mojo Shop Guitar. I'm going to show you something that really just amazed me when I figured it out. It's about the easiest, simplest way to play the blues that there is. I mean, it don't get no much better than that. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in this video. But first, you know, recently here, about a week ago, it was my 60th birthday. I know, you see this beautiful face and you don't think that, hey, that guy can't be 60. But yeah, unfortunately I am. But you know what? It was a great day. It was a great party that we had. And I got some really great gifts. And I want to show you one of the gifts that I got. One of my buddies who has a Mojo Shop guitar bought me this little, nice little guitar right here. This is a nice little Ibanez GAX70. And it is a real nice, nice guitar. And I can't wait to put some Mojo in it. But it has a few little little, little frets and stuff for sticking out a little bit. But other than that, it's playing real nice. It's looking real nice too. Doesn't have a blemish on it. Real nice, nice, nice. And well, I'm going to show you today's blues lesson on it. So what do you say? Let's strap this back. All right, here's what we're basically going to do here. Is what we're going to do is we're going to play. Now, you can play this blues anywhere you want on any the 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 sixth, the fifth, or the fourth string anywhere on there. And depending on what note you're at, that depends on what key you're in. And you can do this in any any on any string in any of the sixth, fifth, or fourth string in any position up and down the neck. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take your regular power chord, which is really just your root and your fifth, which is right down here. So we'll just get that other finger. We're just like that. See, we're just playing these two right here. That's how you start it off. Okay, and then our second note is going to be, our second position is right here. All we're doing is just holding that, those two top strings down right there at the fifth fret. Playing that. And then our third note is going to be right here. We're doing the same thing and we're just going up two frets. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to show you how we do that just all right there. It's going to be kind of like this. say that you want to play this in you want to play now if you play it on the third string see I like to play this on the third string let's say you're that your song is in the key of A okay right, right up here now see you know the octave for for this A right here is two notes up and two notes over so right here so I like to play that little thing right up here we'll go See the nice thing about that is that your number one pentatonic is right up here, so you can just go.
Pretty easy. And you'll find that that fits right over any blues progression that you got. So that's a real easy one to try right there. Now, maybe we'll go show it, show it to you on, on, on paper over here, just to kind of make sure everything's nice and clear. So we're going to go over to the bench. All right, we're over at the bench. I'm going to try to explain this to you here. It's, I know this is kind of a rudimentary chart here. We're white now, just a, little, just a hair, okay? But, you know, it's really kind of this is simple, stupid, you know. Um, this is a, uh, you probably all seen one of these before, you know. Uh, the, these are the, this is the sixth, the big fat sixth string, fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string, first string, you know, and down like that, you know, E, A, D, G, B, E, all the way down, right down through here, you know, it's your guitar neck, okay? Now, the first position, you know, is just a root and a fifth, which is, let's say that you wanted to play this whole thing in G. Well, that would be the third fret right here, because, you know, you get E, F, and then G right here. So you would put your index finger, you know, your pointer finger, you put that right there, and then you would take your third finger, and you would go up two frets, so you go one, two to this fret, and you would go two strings, or one string over, one string over that way, so you'd be right here. And that's what's called a root and a fifth, or a power chord. So basically, this is your first note, okay? And whatever this note is right here, that's what key you're in. So if they say, let's do some blues in G, then you'll play G right here. Or you could play G over here, too. You could play down there, too, on the fourth string. You can do this pattern on any of the, on the sixth string, the fifth string, or the first str or the fourth string. It doesn't matter. This pattern works any, on any of those strings. Now, this is your first note right here, so you're going to play that chord right there, those two strings at the same time, boo doo doo And then when it comes time for the, for the next note, it's you're, all you're going to do is you're going to cover these two notes right here, just right here, across there. You're just going to put your finger across there. And you don't even have to move your hand. You just, you know, just put that finger right across there, okay? And then you're going to go back to this chord, this, this one right here. And then your third note to bring around is all you're doing is you're coming down here, and you're going to put your finger across here. You're going to take your third finger and you're going to put it right across here like that. And that will make your third note. So you're going to start off here with these two right here. Do, 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 do. And then, and then go down to the next note, which would be like, like if you were doing like if you were in G. Then the next note would be your C. So this right here would be the C. Because this is C right here. This is C. And this is a uh, this is a root for or the, for the fifth for C, okay? So and then what you're doing, and then your next note would be um, D. So this is D right here. So basically, you're just playing G C D, but you're playing it all there. You're playing the G as a prior chord, then you're playing then you're playing the C as a chord right here, and you're playing the D as a chord right there, and that's your basic blues. Easy as peasy. And you don't even have to move your finger. Anybody can learn that one. And this is in the first position. So you could play your first pentatonic scale right here at G. You could play all this right across here. You could play your pentatonic scale right here and here, you know. I mean, uh, no, that's, no, that's uh, right, right here and here. Yep, yep. And then you can go over here and here and here and here and, you know, here and here. Play it all over the place. There you go. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully that's that's helpful and you'll get good use out of that. I know I have. Um, one of the things I like to do is I like to uh, go ahead and say to the local people around here, I'm in uh, Burton, Michigan. If anybody's out in Burton, Michigan and you need your guitar fixed up, come on and see me. I put my, my website address right down here. My email, I mean, my email address, I always do that. My email address down here, so you can send me an email. It's real easy. Or you can just call, just look up Mojo Shop Guitar and, and Google it. Man, we'll come right up top of the list. So come on, if you live in the in the Burton, Michigan area, let's, let, me, let me get your guitar and we'll give it a good mojo on. Um, let me see what else we got. Oh, yeah. Um, we got a bunch of new hats 
and, and, and guitar straps and shirts and stuff like that, you know, we got them all over the place, you know, uh, um, and they sure are looking good, and uh, anybody who gets a hat and anything, well, here's what we're going to do, we're going to have a drawing, the next video is going to be a drawing for a complete mojo shop complete guitar, I mean, you know, the, the good one, and it's one we've already done, and I'm going to surprise you with it, but I'm going to go, right after I'm done with this video, I'm going to go start working on that video, we're going to get that going, so that's going to be the next one after this one, which means that soon we're going to find out what guitar we're giving away, and man, it's going to be a nice one, and it's going to be, it's going to be a big contest, so I can't look, I mean, I can't wait for that, I'm really looking forward to it, and so, uh, you know what? That's going to be it for today on Mojo Shop Guitar. So I just want to say, remember to subscribe, please. And you know, this next, the contest that we're going to have to give away on this guitar, you're going to subscribe and you're going to comment, say, I subscribed or I sure would like to win or just something. You got to make some kind of a comment so because the comments come up and that's how I enter you in the contest. So make sure that you, so I'm giving you a heads up. We're going to do the, the, the guitar is going to be given away on subscriptions. So you're going to have to subscribe and comment. So if you haven't, if you've already subscribed earlier, if you're already a subscriber, you're good. You're in the drawing. But if you're new, if you haven't subscribed, then you got to make sure you comment. Because that's where I'm going to get your comment. And then, then your name and everything goes right in, in the drawing. So make sure you make a comment. You can't just subscribe. But. That's what it's going to take. It's going to take, a, we're going to uh, give it away for subscriptions, man. And it's going to be a nice one. So anyway, I'm just going to say adios for now from Mojo Shop Guitar. Baby. <laughs>